Hello everyone, thanks for joining. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my troll succulent pots and here we go. First you're going to need acrylic paint. I use acrylic paint to color my resin. Then you're going to need cups that have uh, measurements on the side. Can't forget our handy dandy mixing sticks. Wow, okay that was a tongue twister. And a shelf aka succulent pot mold. Can't forget about safety, you're going to need some nitrile gloves. And I use a full face respirator like this one right here. Almost forgot to mention alcohol spritz. Um, I'll be showing you what to do with that later on. Now let's get into mixing our resin. This is why you're going to need the little uh, measurements on the side so you can see how much you're going to be mixing. Woo, man, we're getting tongue tied, but we're getting tongue tied, tongue tied. So we're gonna keep on pushing. Usually I use white mix all for this part, but I'm gonna use pinata ink since I ran out of mix all because I really love mix all. I usually use a white base to um, help my colors pop. And this is the fluorescent pink in basic acrylic Liquitex that I'm going to be putting in here, you'll see right there. And then I'm just gonna start mixing. I'm just gonna be mixing all the colors up and I'm just gonna be quiet and let you guys watch the mixing process. Here we go. Now for the alcohol ink spritz bottle that I showed you in the beginning. You're gonna to wanna to spritz this all over your mold. This is gonna help any bubbles that are trapped be popped and it works for me like 99% of the time. And now for the fun part, we're going to pour and yeah, I'm gonna be quiet again and let you guys watch this satisfying -ness if you, wow. Okay, I just talk like robots now, that's cool. After you're finished pouring this layer, you're going to want to spritz some more alcohol on the back to help pop the rest of the bubbles, and tomorrow we will do the demolding. Yay! It is now the next day, and now we're just going to tap to check to see if it's done, and it's hard, so let's demold. And here's what it looks like after the demold, but we are not done yet. We are going to add hair and plants to it, so stay tuned. Next, you're going to need some fluffy fabric, which I got on Amazon, and I will be linking everything in the, in the description. And you'll need a jewel for the belly button, some glue, and some scissors. Now we're just gonna take the fabric and the scissors and cut around the top of the head to measure it so when we glue it on, it'll fit on pretty snug. When you're done cutting, you should have a little piece like this. Then after you're done with that, you're going to take the tacky glue and put it all over the top of the hair part of the uh, troll or gnome or whatever you feel like you wanna call it for the day. <laughs> Now take the fluffy fabric and stick it right on top of the glue and situate it so it looks all nice and even. And this is what it should look like. It should have the floofster hair and now we're just gonna add the jewel belly button right there. Magic of editing videos, woo! Now for the succulent rocks, we're going to be putting the rocks in the little holes cause after that we're gonna be adding little plants that will fit in there. How cute is that belly button? I just can't get over it. Now it's time for the succulents. We're just gonna take these little succulents and place them all around where the right blah, white rocks are. And we are finally done. This is how the piece should look. I can't believe how this turned out. I, this is just gonna be one of those pieces I'm not gonna be able to get rid of. 
now we're outside with some glamour shots and yeah just enjoy the rest of the video and at the end i'll leave you know where you can follow me and in the description i will link everything that you need to make this little troll succulent creation thanks for watching bye